Maybe you can describe to our viewers why this is a seminal agreement. Yeah, so getting Procter & Gamble or LVMH or Estee Lauder and a bunch of other iconic brands, we're over 20 now, they're really engaged in what we're doing on this environmental technology. Uh, we're providing a way to take waste plastic out of the environment. And today, if you think about waste plastic, it's mechanically recycled. Um, and, you know, that's the traditional way to do it. They get clear bottles, they chop it up, they melt it, and they turn it back into other bottles or more often textiles. What we're doing, as you mentioned, is molecular recycling. And molecular recycling is more fundamental. What we do is we take waste plastic, the 70% that can't be mechanically recycled, that ends up in landfill. And we basically, especially with polyester, which is our leading technology, we unzip that polymer with a little bit of chemistry and purify it, uh, then rebuild the polymer back, and it's identical to the current polymer. And so for P&G, that's incredibly important because they don't want to compromise the quality of the product on the shelf, but they're highly committed to making the environment better in both recycled plastic and getting that out of the environment and doing it at a lower carbon footprint. And this technology allows us to take one step to take plastic out of the environment and turn it back into their products and no compromise in the performance. And we do it with 20 to 30 percent less uh, carbon footprint. But where because do you get the Because we're avoiding all of that journey from, from people discovering oils, away? refining like, it, et cetera. We are terrible recyclers in this country. How are you able yeah. to get this stuff and then make it happen? Because to me, this is the holy grail. Right now, we just know that a plastic bottle is going to be in a landfill. It just because we always realize that Americans don't recycle right. How can you either right. change our behavior or how does it matter even if we don't change our behavior? Well, what's exciting right now um, is that consumers are really energized, and so are the brands, in solving this challenge. We actually wanted to build this technology a decade ago. Uh, in fact, Kodak invented this technology four decades ago, and that's also why the brands like us is they know we have established this technology, and they know that with our operational technical capability, we can do it. So with the consumers, we have to get them motivated. And there's so much waste plastic out there, and today it ends up at landfill, so we can put value on that. And, and encourage people to invest and develop it because today it, it's just waste. Uh, so we're changing the whole game around recycling. So not just the mechanical recycling that gets good value right now, but all this 70% that ends up being thrown away, we're, tra we're, we're turning that back into a, a circular economy. And we think of it as creating sort of a new frontier of circular polymers you know, as we eliminate this fossil fuel industry. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.